What is going on, YouTube? This is Sam from Team Sam Rex here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with a ban list video. And today's ban list video is going to be cards that needs to get off the goddamn ban list. And in today's video, I'm going to be specifically only talking about the cards that need to get off the ban list. And I feel like this is a great video because we all have wish lists. Everybody wants this thing for Christmas. Everybody wants that everybody wants this everybody wants something for the 2018 year and I thought it would be a great idea to actually come up with this topic for you guys today so we can all relate if you guys want to see more topic videos like this make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button that'll be absolutely amazing you guys all know how it is on this channel and for those of you who have not joined the notification squad make sure you guys click on the notification bell to basically get notified on each time I upload videos so you guys will always be the first one so if you guys are part of notification squad I want you guys to hashtag in the description box below hashtag notification squad so I can go down there and just like each and every single one of your comments so go ahead and do that now for those of you who are regulars on the channel you guys all know that I upload Monday Wednesdays and Fridays and for the past couple days I've been uploading because you know what I had my finals week this week since my school finals finally ended I'm now able to give you guys the content that you guys want from this channel so make sure you guys stay subscribed and stay tuned for more videos so I have a contest going on in the description box below make sure you guys join the contest I have two contests going on so you guys join both contests you guys will have basically a chance to win my exclusive team samurai x1 cloth playmat those playmats have been sold out after I released 150 copies of those playmats they went off super quick and I just want to thank you guys so much for helping support the channel All right, Alright guys, so without further ado, let's get started. Here is some of the cards that, in my personal opinion, that needs to get off the ban list. And it's technically my wish list and what I think logically needs to come off the ban list as soon as possible. And the first card I'd like to talk to you guys about is Book of Moon. Book of Moon now has been a controversy in the Yu-Gi-Oh community, whether or not it should be at two or at three, but in my personal opinion, I think that it's okay to actually put Book of Moon at three. My reasoning behind putting Book of Moon at three is because it actually promotes skillful play. So with the introduction of Lynx, you guys don't know that Lynx cannot be in defense positions because they do not have any defensive stats. Since the new game mechanic does not allow Link monsters to go into defense position, I believe that Book of Moon in today's game state will have no problem being at three whatsoever because one, it does not work on Lynx. Two, if you draw this card during mid or late game against the boards of Link monsters and things like that, it's a completely dead card. Also, it actually promotes skillful play because you can actually use this card to actually disrupt plays before your opponent would actually make Link monsters. So it can actually slow down Links a little bit if you draw this card early game. So in my personal opinion, guys, I really think that Book of Moon actually deserves to go to two or either three. The next card that I would like to see off the ban list is my boy Shrid Strategist of the Necros. Let me tell you guys right now, Necros has to be one of my favorite archetypes of all time. I'm just kidding. I freaking hate that deck. I really think that Shrid should actually come back to one, at least to one in the TCG. If you guys do not know, in the OCG right now, they have Shrit at two, and uh, what's happening in the OCG? Yeah, nothing. But all jokes aside, I really think that Shrit should actually come off the ban list for multiple reasons. For those of you who do not know what Shrit strategy is a Necroz effect, it's basically when this card is tributed, you get to add a Necroz warrior directly from the deck to your hand. Cards like Necroz of Brown Neck, and most importantly, Necroz of Trishula, okay? Trishula was probably one of the strongest Necroz monsters to actually ever hit the board back in the day when Necroz was relevant. It's one of the most powerful cards to actually hit a card from the field, from the hand, and also from the graveyard. I believe that players in today's game can actually come back really easily if they were to get Trish. So I don't really think that Shrit will have too much impact in today's metagame. In the TCG right now, we have Preparation of the Rights at 2. So if Shrit comes back to 1, this may actually support more Necroz players into actually giving them a chance to actually play the deck. So maybe it's a good idea for Ash Shrit to come back to 1, but that's just my personal opinion. I believe that with cards like Pre-Preparation of Rights being at 2 and also putting Shrit back to 1 will actually promote no more Necroz plays. And it also gives Necroz players the instant search to search for their combo pieces. And in today's metagame, we have cards like Ash that can easily stop Shrit. So I don't really see a problem with Shrit coming back to one at all. And would it really make a difference in my personal opinion? I don't really think so. In the OCG right now, has Shrit really done anything at two? Absolutely not. The next card I'd like to talk about is Wind Up 
Carrier Zenmighty. For those of you who do not know what Zenmighty does, it's basically a rank 3 XYZ monster, specifically for windups, and it's vexed is that you can basically special summon a windup monster directly from the deck by detaching XYZ material. So this card was actually pretty broken back in the day because we had the infamous windup loop. If you guys never experienced the windup loop before, I'm to you guys right now, you basically just lose the game if your opponent opens up two cards, which is windup magician and windup shark. And then it's GG no ring. Only one condition. If Zenmighty comes back, Konami has to ban Wind Up Hunter. With the new release of the Wind Up Link Monsters, basically the Wind Up Link Monster gets you any access to any Wind Up card directly from the deck, which is Wind Up Factory, which is really broken. So with the release of that Link Monster, if Zenmighty comes back to one and Wind Up Hunter still exists, there will be a ton of looping, okay? If Zenmighty comes back, they have to outright ban Wind Up Hunter 100%. I believe that the release of the new Link Monsters coming out for Wind Ups, if they unban Zenmighty, this will actually promote more Wind Up plays and this will also promote the new Link Monster as well and it will promote players to actually buy their new products to get the Link Monsters if Zenmighty were to come back off the ban list. With tons of hand traps in the game like Ash Blossom, Ash Blossom can easily stop Zenmighty uh, within its tracks. So I don't see it having a problem coming back to one at all, but Wind Up Hunter has to be banned and that's my only condition if this card were to come off the ban list. So I actually want to see a resurgence in actually older decks trying to compete into the meta because you know what, the more the game diversifies, the more fun the game can actually become. I don't want to see a three triangle deck format again uh, where Burning Abyss, Shadows, and you know, Teller Knights were dominated the meta. I want to see a meta that's really diverse and so that's my opinion on why I think Zenmighty should come back to one and leave your comments in the comment section below if you guys were to agree with me. The next card that I talk about is El Shadar Construct. Yes guys, this card needs to come off the ban list and it should at least come back to one. For those who do not know, we're getting a new Shadal monster called Shadal Construct. It is a Link monster specifically built for Shadals. So if Shadal Construct were to come back in the TCG to one, I really think that this will promote a lot of Shadal plays. I know that in Yu-Gi-Oh there are a ton of Shadal fans and I know you guys love Shadal so much. I know that there's fans out there that are dying for El Shadal Construct to come back to one and I really agree that this card should come back to one. With the release of this new Link monster, El Shadar Construct could possibly come back to one because this will actually help push out the new Link monsters with the next upcoming set. I believe that if this card were to come out in the OCG imports and Extreme Forces, if Shadal Construct comes back to one in the next upcoming ban list, I'm telling you guys right now, there will be a ton of Shadal players actually trying to get the Extreme Forces set to so that way that they can get the new Link monsters to pair off with the El Shadal Construct. In today's meta game, Battle of X does not really matter because we have a lot of cards that can actually interrupt a lot of plays before the battle phase anyways. So El Shadal Construct effect isn't going to be too relevant in my personal opinion. Although it's a powerful effect, I don't think that it's just too good to just basically still ban this card. And if you guys would ask me, Sam, if Shadal Construct comes back to one, is it going to make a difference? In my personal opinion, I don't think so. I don't really think it's going to basically be meta-defying at all. I don't really think that with this card going to one, it's going to change the game drastically. But I really think that this will actually help promote the newer set with the new Shadal Link monster and also promote more Shadal players to actually come back into the game, possibly continue to play this deck. And also, as I said before, with windups, I want to see our meta diversify. I want to see a diverse meta. The next card that I like talk about is gateway of the six okay please please konami please this is just my my freaking wish list okay please konami i am begging you if you're watching this video man listen uh listen i will go to your company and i'll mop your floors for the entire month all right if you put gateway back to three i'll do it you know what on behalf of my six samurai fans out there gateway needs to come back to three okay in the ocg bro what is Gateway doing in OCG? Absolutely nothing, okay? If Gateway actually comes back to three, I would actually be playing six Samurais, okay? Like dead ass, I'll be playing six Samurais. We have cards like Cosmic Cyclone, we have cards like MST, Twist Twister, the card that actually outright kills Gateway, Ghost Ogre, and Snow Rabbit destroys Gateway. We have a ton of hand traps, Jean Lockbird. Drone Lockbird kills Gateway. So many things that can actually counter Gateway. This will promote a huge ton of six samurai play within the meta game. And right now guys, gateway at one, it does absolutely nothing. Although that there are stupid loops of gateway, which I don't agree of with gateway, but I guess Emma was now banned anyway, so that's okay. But those can actually be easily stopped with cards like Ash Blossom and also goes over it, Snow Rabbit and things like that, MST, Color Cyclone, a lot of things can actually stop gateway. So in my personal opinion, with gateway go back to three, I don't see a single problem of this card being released off the ban list whatsoever. From one to three, I support it 100% and I'm biased as you know what I mean, but 
I don't care. Gateway needs to come back to three. So the last card that I'd love to get off the ban list is free my Straddles. For those of you who do not know, Straddles got banned in the September 2013 ban list. And ever since Straddles got banned, everybody wants Straddles to be released off the ban list. Free Straddles, come on Konami. Basically Straddles was one of the cards that actually held a deck together. For those of you who do not know and actually know this deck very well, was Straddles was actually the reason why Hero Beat or Bubble Beat was actually possible. The deck basically plays a very low monster count in 2013 with one Straddles, three Elemental Hero Neo's Alias, and three Elemental Hero Bubble Man. What you do is you basically set your entire hand, summon Straddles, search Bubble Man, special Bubble Man, go into Blade Armor Ninja and just try to basically game your opponent by just beating your opponent down and then there's also with the inclusion of cards like uh, Neil's alias with cards like Gemini Spark was also incorporated into Bubble Bee. So Stratos basically was the heart and soul uh, of that deck. Ever since Stratos got hit in 2013, that deck was no longer playable because Stratos was the card that actually held the deck together. But now in today's metagame, we have to consider the new cards that are out, which would actually make you consider if Straddles should actually come back or not. So now we have Elemental Hero Shadow Mist, which is at three, which is essentially, people say, is the replacement for Straddles. Don't you ever say that again, okay? For those of you who say it's essentially a Straddles, no, it's not. Shut the up. It's not a Straddles. We also got, you know, Vision Hero Vion, which is able to dump a hero monster to the graveyard. The, the, the hero that you're gonna mostly dump is Elemental Hero Shadow Mist anyways to search uh, your hero monsters. And at this point, if Straddles were to come back, it will be able to search Straddles directly from the deck to the hand, which is actually pretty cool. You guys also have to consider, if Straddles were to come back to one, well, this make Mass Heroes more meta relevant. Mass Heroes is a Dark Law based deck. Dark Law is very powerful, but what do we have for win monsters? Win Mass Hero monsters. We have Mass Hero Blast, okay, this card is meh. And we also have the other uh, Mass Hero Divine Win, which is completely garbage in my personal opinion. Come on, if you guys were compare those two to Dark Law, Dark Law was literally meta divine. So you know what mass change into straddles, I don't really think that it would actually be too beneficial. But I believe that heroes actually need that boost. I really want to see heroes in today's meta game because heroes with cards like Dark Law can actually help counteract the meta. I want to see a more diversifying meta. I want to see plays where you're able to activate hero lives, summon straddles. Okay, straddles, search Vion, summon Vion, dump Shadow Mist, Shadow Mist, search Bubble Man, set everything, special summon Bubble Man, make your link plays, make extra, uh, make the extra link hero. And now you guys have to consider whether or not Straddles could actually come back off the ban list with the release of this new link monster. This new extra hero link monster basically requires two hero monsters and has two link pointers pointing up and pointing down. Basically his effect says that if a hero monster is summoned to a zone this card points to, you basically get to add a fusion card directly from your graveyard back into your hand with cards like Mass Chain. You can add cards like Polymerization. And a secondary effect, if this card basically leaves the field in your possession or is destroyed by a battle or by card effect, you basically get a special summon a hero monster from your hand, which is pretty awesome. So if Straddles were to be unbanned, if the extra hero monster gets destroyed, special summon Straddles from the hand, you know, search Shadow Mist, things like that, and basically just go off with your combo plays, which is pretty cool. And I believe that heroes just need this speed. I really think that heroes need us cards like Stratos to come back in today's metagame. I really think it would actually help diversify the meta. But one of the things that I'm actually very concerned about is that Stratos is not a once per turn effect. And that's the thing that I'm kind of, you know, very hesitant to actually release Stratos off the ban list, okay? It's not a once per turn effect. Maybe Stratos could get a once per turn errata, you know, who knows? But, you know, that's one of my concerns and I'm really hesitant about Stratos coming back to one is because it's very abusive and it's not a once per turn effect. So let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And some of my honorable mentions of cards that should come off the ban list, but I really don't think it would ever come back is cards like Monster Reborn. Uh, I, I miss Monster Reborn. Uh, you know what I mean? I miss cards like Heavy Storm. I miss cards like Harpy's Feather Duster. Those cards, I think, should come off the ban list, but I don't think it will ever happen. So those are some of the cards that I think should come off the ban list, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you guys want to see more ban list prediction videos and the next segment to what cards should get banned or what cards should get limited or what cards should get hit on the upcoming ban list, make sure you guys smash that like button. That'll be absolutely amazing. You guys always smash the thumbs up button, and I cannot Thank you guys enough for that. You guys are super awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you guys join the contest in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Sam from Team Sam's and signing out. All right, guys. Peace.